Yeah, it's good. It's nice. It's um, it's tough, obviously. Like training for a boxing match is pretty hard, you know, getting punched in the head and doing all your weight training and cardio, but it has to be done, you know. I, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy being healthy. I enjoy the big night, you know, back at the O2 Arena, May 21st. Another big, big pack, fight, big night of boxing, probably eight or nine fights. Um, we've got, you know, getting some big musical acts to come in and, and perform. So it's going to be a real good, good sort of carnival feel at the at heyday, we call it. And um, yeah, I'm excited to be back. Are you allowed to say who any of those musical performers are, or is no, it all under wraps? I'm, I'm, just, I'm working on it. It's be big, the big, whoever they'll believe me, they're the big names. You'll hear about it pretty soon. And you're talking there about the tracks you pick to, to go into the ring. Yeah. Have you picked the track that you're going to have for yeah, this? Yeah, I, I, I come out to my same track. It's McFadden and Whitehead. Ain't no stopping us now. Um, the last track was uh, uh, remixed by Labyrinth and um, Dallas Austin. They both uh, uh, helped me out and chopped it up and remixed it. And everybody on the night had a real good time. It really added that extra bit of spice on the ring walk. It was about six minutes long. And uh, it really, really did work out well, and everybody there loved it. Does that mean you're going to have to get another remix for this one? I don't, I don't know how they can improve on it, to be honest. I genuinely don't know how they can improve on what they did for this, for, for this, for this track. So maybe, maybe the same track again. I'll be happy with the same one again, to be honest. And do you feel like the way boxing is going, or the way you would like it to go, is more of it on terrestrial TV? Yeah, for sure. You know, my last fight was on uh, Dave, Channel Dave, the home of Woody Banter. And a strange channel to have a, a boxing event on, but it worked out great. We got 3.2 million peak uh, viewers, which was uh, which is amazing for a, for, a, for a channel like that. You know, it's like 800 plus 800 times what they normally get on that um, that that time slot. You know, um, we, everyone really enjoyed it. You know, getting big time boxing on terrestrial television hasn't happened for many years. So um, I'm I'm, I'm going to try my best to continue to put boxing on a on free 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 channels thinking no every when i was a kid you could watch boxing on uh, on itv or bbc you know that's, that's where you used to watch the boxing uh, when you put a paywall in between it you know uh, a box nation or sky sports pay-per-view it, it, it then only so many people can watch it only so many people have sky only so many people have an additional 20 pounds to watch a, a big boxing match so when you fight on a for free for free on free view um, you just open yourself up to people who may not be able to afford it. And for me, that really does get everybody behind you and it gets everybody excited and gets the whole nation you know, on the, the heavyweight title. Does that mean less money for the boxers, though? It definitely means less money. It definitely means less money, but um, in the long run, it, it, it evens itself out.